Good afternoon, Texans. I'm Todd Coley, here with you on the Texan Sports Minute. Big week in the world of athletics went on this past seven days, and I'm here to recap it all with you. Today on the show, number two Texans send out seniors with a win. Texans win at Eastern New Mexico. Texan baseball wins series over Arlington Baptist. Winter Olympics wrap up in Sochi, and Dirk hits a buzzer beater in New York to lift the Mavs over the Knicks. The Texans continued their winning ways last night as they beat Lubbock Christian 87-60. The Texans were led by DeAndre Upchurch again last night. Upchurch had 19 points, and that is coming off a career-high 38-point performance last Saturday night in Portales, New Mexico. The five seniors on the team were honored before the game as a senior night celebration. Those players are Chuck Guy, John Kathy Macklin, DeAndre Upchurch, Coleman First, and Devin Rybach. The first half was a close one in Wisdom Gym, and Tarleton only took a 39-34 lead into the locker room at half, but really turned up the defense in the second. The Texans held the Chaps to just 32% shooting in the second and only 26 points. The Texans have one more regular season game to go against A&M Commerce in Commerce, and then it is the Lone Star Conference Tournament next week. The first round of the LSC Tournament begins next Wednesday in Allen, Texas. And Tarleton Sports is reporting around campus sports. The Texans have put together a three-game win streak and looked very impressive while dominating Eastern New Mexico University by a final score of 89-64. to Six of the girls had it flowing offensively for the team as they all scored double digits. All five of the starters were included in those who scored double digits, and the victory marked the first win on the road for the Texans since January 15th. Halfway through the first period, the Texans went on a 17-4 to run and the ladies never looked back. At halftime, the Texans enjoyed a 49-28 lead, and the second half was all Tarleton. The ladies expanded their lead to as much as 33 in the second and wound up shooting 59%. Kiara Wright had another double-double, scoring 14 points and grabbing 12 rebounds. The Texans finished their regular season against A&M Commerce in Commerce on Saturday night. The game is scheduled for 5.30 p.m. The Texan baseball team went 2-1 and one against Arlington Baptist on Friday and Saturday. The Texans won their Friday game to extend their home win streak to 9. The game Friday night saw two home runs in the third from Jonathan Schmitz and Alvaro Moreno. And in the fourth inning, the Texans tacked on two more runs to make the final score 5-4 to four Tarleton. On Saturday, the 18th-ranked Texans split the games against Arlington Baptist. In the first game, the Texans had a five-run second inning to gain the momentum that would carry them to a 7-5 victory. Arlington Baptist was able to get one win out of the series as they defeated Tarleton in the third game with a final score of 7-10. And for Olympic and Mavs news, we move to the AP. It's a wrap in Sochi, and the IOC president thinks it was a success. After a rocky start to the Winter Games, things panned out in Russia to work pretty well. For more on that and the final medal count, we go to the AP for video. After over two weeks of competition, the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympics have finished. The Games had a rocky start, ranging from issues with accommodations and complaints about Olympic venues to major security concerns. The city of Sochi went through a complete transformation to host the event. You know, we were here, you saw an old uh, Stalinist-style sanatorium uh, city uh, where uh, whenever you enter the room, you were looking at the roof, whether you would not be hit by, by something falling down. Uh, it, it, was, uh, it, it was terrible. And uh, then seeing now 20 years after, this, this uh, transformation is, is really is, is amazing. And overall, the games were a success. The success of uh, the home team is, is always uh, an important part of the success of the games overall. Uh, this uh, we have seen in, in many countries. Uh, this uh, we saw just two years ago with the team GB in, in London. The games ended on a high note for the home nation as Russia leaves the field of competition with the most gold medals and the most medals overall with 33. The United States had a solid showing as well, finishing second in the medal count with 28 medals. With the 2014 Olympic Games over, the countdown starts again as the world looks forward to the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press. The Mavs pulled out their third straight victory on Monday night when Dirk Nowitzki hit a buzzer beater to lift the Mavs to a 110-108 win over the Knicks. The shot certainly was not a swish, as Nowitzki described it as probably the ugliest game winner he had ever shot, but it still counted as two. The Mavs dropped an eight-point lead in the last minute and a half, but Dirk was there to save the day as time expired. The Knicks had Carmelo Anthony go for 44 points and nine rebounds, but the effort was not enough for New York. 
For the Mavs, Vince Carter had a season-high 23 points while scoring seven three-pointers. Monte Ellis had 22 for Dallas, and the Mavs have now won nine of their last 11 games. The Mavs hope to continue their hot streak as they host the New Orleans Pelicans tonight at 7 p.m. Well, that wraps up this week in sports. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Texan News Sports. I will be live tweeting from the conference tournament next week during the games. Thanks to Katie Gibbs and Bethany Kyle for producing the show today. Have a great week, Texans.